So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Welcome to an example on how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix using an augmented matrix. We first start by creating an augmented matrix in the form where the left side is the given square matrix and the right side is the identity matrix. Then we perform row operations resulting in an augmented matrix where the left side is the identity matrix and the right side becomes the inverse matrix. So the main idea is to convert the given matrix, matrix A, into an identity matrix using row operations, and then on the right side we end up with the inverse of the original matrix. So because we're given a two by two matrix, the augmented matrix will be a two by four matrix, where the first two columns will come from matrix A, The third and fourth columns will come from a two by two identity matrix, so we'd have one, zero, zero, one. If we want to, we can divide this in half. And now we're going to perform row operations to obtain the identity matrix on the left, so when we get done, our matrix should look just like this. So let's start by obtaining a zero in this position and this position. So we want to have a zero in this position. Notice at least common multiple of two and four would be four. And these are already opposite signs. So we can replace row two with two times row two plus row one to obtain a zero in this position. So the first row will stay the same. And now for row two, we'll have two times negative two plus four, that's zero. Two times negative three is negative six, plus five, that's negative one. Two times zero is zero, plus one is one. And two times one is two, plus zero, that would be two. Now let's obtain a zero in this position here. Notice the element below the five is negative one, which means we can obtain a zero in this position if we replace row one with five times row two plus row one. We also want this element here to be positive one, so let's go ahead and replace row two with negative one times row two. So we'll have five times zero plus four, that's four. Five times negative one is negative five plus five, that's zero. Five times one is five plus one is six. And five times two is 10 plus zero is still 10. And then for the second row, we'll have zero, positive one, negative one, negative two. And now for the last step, we want this first element here to be positive one. So we'll replace row one with one fourth times row one. So the second row stays the same. And now for row one, we'll have one fourth times four, that's one. One fourth times zero is zero. One fourth times six would be six fourths or three halves. And one fourth times 10 is 10 fourths or five halves. Now notice on the left side of the augmented matrix, or this side here, we have the identity matrix, which means the right side is a inverse or the inverse of the original matrix. So the first row would be three halves, five halves. And the second row would be negative one, negative two. And since this is the inverse of matrix A, this means that A times A inverse would be equal to A inverse times A, which would be equal to a two by two identity matrix. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.